In part one of this instructional video, you saw how to enter students' names, their grades, find the average of their grades, the difference from the mean, and the difference squared. We'll now continue to find summary statistics and the z-score. For the moment, we'll skip over the z-score column and move straight to summary statistics, as we will need these to figure out the z-score. Enter the number of students. Enter the average test grade found previously below the list of students on the left. We will enter a formula for the sum of difference squared. The formula is as follows. Equal sign, the word SUM in all caps, and open parentheses, then highlight all cells in the difference squared column, and close the parentheses. Now for the variance, we will enter another formula. This is the sum of the difference squared divided by the number of students. Type in an equal sign, then the sum of difference squared found in the cell above this one, division slash, and the number of students. Finally, we'll find the standard deviation. To do this, use the following formula. Equal sign, capital SQRT, open parentheses, then click on the cell above, which is the variance. Great job! Now you have all your summary statistics. Let's use these while finding the z-score. Type the following formula in the first cell under the heading z-score. Equal sign, open a set of parentheses, click on the difference from mean cell for the first student, then enter a division slash followed by the cell letter and number of the standard deviation. Close parentheses. Make sure you enter a money sign in between the cell letter and number. Now you have your first z-score. Click on the bottom right-hand corner of the black box around that cell and drag it down for all of your students. Now you have all of your z-scores. Congratulations! That was easier than you thought. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thanks for listening to our instructional video.